Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to War Sim episode 4 for the series. Last time we left off, we had been stepping all over the uh, rebels. We had gotten two really lucky sums, of, uh, large sums of gold from nobilities dying and leaving the rest states to us. And basically we managed to use that gold to purchase more men, which we were then able to turn around and use to fight the rebels. Now, uh, we are at the end of this particular turn here so we're going to go ahead and continue forward um, right there nobility just send us a, a thousand gold so that's pretty neat but we're going to go ahead and attack the rebels invade them they shouldn't have very much left um, we're going to send everything we've got and I'd love to get some more knights alright I gotta scroll down give me a second here we go. All right, we'll press any key to continue. You have slaughtered the garrison at the rebel, rebel capital. Your men rush into the main keep to fight the remaining defenders. The invasion was a success and you gained loot, land, and glory. So rebel loss is 93, our losses were 166, but that's what happens when you rush a, um, <laughs> you rush a rebel fort. You can see there at the bottom there, Rhesus the Slayer was killed and Fer uh, Feraldo the Kinslayer was killed. So uh, the main uh, leader and his right hand man. So the rebels are completely crushed and we gained a land from a victory. Congratulations, my king. The rebellion is crushed and Feraldo the Kinslayer rest, uh, rests on a pike. There are many who now declare their allegiance to you. We got 10 opinion, 25 knights, 500 soldiers, 50 bandits, 50 tribal, 800 peasants, Awesome. Fantastic. I'm super excited. <laughs> and uh, we're getting attacked, but I'm not even that concerned about it. So taking a look here, trade caravans bringing in lots and lots of goods. 91 peasants from our seven lands. Um, we've received lots of gold from our taxes. Um, let's see what else here. Knights trained 120 peasants into soldiers. Wow. Uh, your peasants earn you 587 gold from that harvest. So yeah, wow. We're doing really good right now. Our army is considerably large. I can't believe that we started on insane mode. And we're just, I can't believe we're doing this well. Let's go ahead and do some more exploring. All right, we're going to go to the, let's see, the eastern grasslands. Wander aimlessly, okay. Um, We could buy some more slaves, and I think we should. Um, Let's go ahead and buy 200 of them. Let's go ahead and recruit some more of my own. We want to keep the recruiting up. We don't want to get lazy with it. And we should definitely hire some peasants. And we should definitely pay off our loan so we can get that completely paid off. Let's go take a look at the arena now. Grand Champion. The Iron Nose. So Lysandus the Iron Nose. This was the person that beat the Champion of Light. Um, Marnid the arrow. We'll bet on Marnid the arrow this time. Oh, I only bet one gold. I meant to bet a hundred. Oh, well. Well, we lost our one gold, so I guess, uh, all is well. <laughs> we got a lot of men. We're going to want to start doing some more attacking. We're also going to want to start paying back our allies for helping us out. So I don't know if I'm going to, let's see, do I want to do it this time around? I don't think I'm going to do it this time around, but slowly over time, we should start paying our allies back. Um... Because that would be the right thing to do. Let's go take a look, though. The rebels are no more. But who do we fight next? We've got the bandit horde, some goblins, some independent territories. Let's take a look at the bandit horde. Fenor, the bandit overlord, total men 139, total gold 2003, total lands 5. Faction relation, bribe them to stop raiding you, bribe them to disband, and then we can learn about them. Uh, we could probably crush these guys. 130 men really isn't that much. Let's go ahead and end then. So we can attack the bandit horde. We should do that. We should crush the bandit horde. Also nobility there, sending us another thousand gold. Uh, we're going to invade. And we're going to send all of our peasants. We're just going to send everybody because it's been like working for us really well. 419 slave soldiers, 617 soldiers, 
24 nights. Wow. Like, from where I started and where I am now is a huge difference. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't believe it. I feel so good right now. Uh, the invasion was a success, and you gained loot landing glory. Bandit loss is 29. My loss is only one. One of my peasants was killed, and we gained a land. We are being attacked, but we're just going to let that roll through. Okay, so trade still coming in. Enlisted 76 peasants. How many did we turn to? Uh, okay, 105 peasants to soldiers. Good. Good things. Good things happening. Let's get some more peasants. Um, 100 to be exact. Because our peasants now are being turned to soldiers very, very quickly. So I'm not going to buy soldiers anymore. I'm only going to buy peasants. And I'll let our knights do the training. Now, let's do some exploring. We'll go for the eastern grasslands again. Wander aimlessly once again. I could buy some slaves. I may as well. It is helping. And we should also pay off some of our loan. We don't want to forget to do that. Because um, we're doing such a good job of getting it paid off. How's the bandits looking now? 129. They've got four lands. I want all of those lands. Every one of them. We're going to keep attacking them until their lands are my lands. Take a look at the arena, though. Bet on a fight. Lysandus the Irono is still hanging around. Grimocher the Platinum Overlord. I'm definitely betting on him. That sound, He sounds awesome. The people rejoice as the Grand Champion keeps his title. No, he didn't win, though. All right. We have 153 gold. Not much I can do with it. So, we'll go ahead and we'll end our turn. We're going to take on the Bandit Horde again. We're going to invade them. And we're going to send everything we've got. We did lose some knights, I see. Maybe we'll buy some next time. Once again, we only lost a peasant, but we killed 32 of their guys, and we got some more land from it. Okay, trade coming in. Um, enlisted 47 peasants from our nine lands. Three free outlaws enlist. Knights train 105 peasants into soldiers. Your peasants earn you 377 gold. Okay. We are going to hire more peasants. Ten of them. Actually, 20 more. And I want to get a knight. Just one. I want to explore north this time. The Brawler's Pit. Let's take a look. Okay, so we can watch a fight. We can bet on a fight. We can buy the pit for 15,000 gold. Why don't we bet on a fight for fun? We got a dirty fighter and a rough goblin. We're going to bet on the dirty fighter because he's a dirty fighter. We're going to bet 100 gold. All right. Beating each other down. The dirty fighter landing some punches in. There we go. And we won. Got some extra gold there. We could bet on another fight. It's kind of fun. Red rough, uh, red rough veteran. Blue rough veteran. Well, that's kind of tough. Because how are you supposed to know? Um, you know, they don't have cool names. Guess we'll bet on the red. About 300 down this time. Oh, the red was a good choice. Want a little bit more gold. All right, let's go ahead and visit the Royal Bank then and pay some of our loan off. And let's go ahead and... Let's see, we could recruit more peasants. Public opinion's nice and up there. We should start paying back some of our allies. That would be the right thing to do. Send some gifts. Keep our allies on our side, right? 
We're gonna end our turn and attack the bandit horde again. Oh, 750 soldiers, 22 knights, 65 bandits, 53 goblins. All right, we lost a little bit more, three, <laughs> but they lost 35 and we gained another land. All right, so with every single one of his bandits dead, Feanor, overlord of the bandits, has renounced his claim on the lands and fled to foreign lands. So it looks like we knocked the bandits out from existence pretty much, which means that they're not gonna be raiding us for gold anymore. We enlisted 100 peasants, trained 110 of them into soldiers, got 21 free outlaws to enlist in my army. Now it says, uh, your bandits pillage from the crew this season. Oh wait, your bandits? Oh, my bandits! My bandits are... <laughs> oh, my bandits! Because I've got a bunch of bandits now because I've been letting them come into my kingdom and they're pillaging other people. This is hilarious. I'm stealing other nations' golds from pillaging. I mean, I'm 100% fine with that, to be honest with you. Um, whatever gets me more gold. Let's do some more exploring. The western lands, the southern lands. Mountain Fort Mine... We could go watch a show at the Magic Theater. Let's explore first. Okay, we want to aimlessly. Let's go watch a show at the Magic Theater. We've got a little bit extra gold now. We'll watch the Dizzying Star performance first. It's the cheapest, and it'll give us an idea of what's going on. All right, so that was exciting. That was a waste of 400 gold. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go to the Royal Bank here. So now we know. It's all that matters. Oh boy, our current loan's 666. Pay some back. Let's recruit. Let's hire two knights. And recruit some peasants. 20 to be exact. And let's get some slaves. 100 of them. I don't have enough to pay back one of my allies if I wanted to. Unless I was to gamble it. I guess I won't worry about it. I should start looking into hiring maybe some staffs or some champions. If I hire a champion, what... Oh, here we go. So I can hire champions. That's kind of cool. We don't have the gold to do it. So we won't worry about it just yet. Spy master and a court gesture. So three potential spy masters are sent to your court. You may speak to each of them to learn of their skills and talents. Let's speak to each one of them. Greetings. I'm the one named S Sir Lethwin Goldfist. I am an expert in the art of spying. Please hire me. It was prophesied by the ancient text. I beg for payment of 125 gold per season. So they're kind of expensive. Let's take a look at Sir Aranor of the Isle. Expert in the art of spying. I wish to serve you. I demand payment of 59 gold per season. A lot cheaper. And his skills better. Interesting. Hello, I am the one named Hendir the Islander. I have read 100 books in spying and I am very versed. I will serve you. I expect payment of 113 gold. Okay. And he's not as well. So, sir. Wow, Sir Aranor of the Isle. Only 59 gold per season and a much higher skill level. So, we're going to go ahead and hire him. And I believe that helps us get better spy reports when the spy reports come in. And I'll show that when we get to it. Let's go ahead and end our... Well, actually, who are we going to attack next? Because the bandit hordes no more and the rebels are no more. We've got the goblin kingdom of Crut and the goblin kingdom of Arek, which is what we've been looting. And then we've got the independent territories. And we don't really know how strong they are. We're at war with two of them, so we should maybe try to finish one of them off. They've got a lot of units, though. How about the Fierce County? They've also got a lot of units. They're kind of tricky, really. And I'm allied with the other ones, so I don't really want to destroy them yet. But one of these guys gots to go. One of them has to go. We've got the Goblin Kingdoms. We could start taking them on. They have a lot of gold, some land, and much less men. The Kingdom of Akrut was one of the two largest goblin clans in the land, rival to the Kingdom of Arak, and vast in number they are known for their tribal nature. Okay, how about the Kingdom of Arak then? 854, they're much more powerful. 
Okay, and same thing there. So why don't we attack the Goblin Kingdom of Krut maybe? Or we could attack some of the smaller bandit caps. Put them in their place. That would be a good idea. Why don't we do that? Since the bandit horde is destroyed, the rebels are destroyed. Ooh, what's this? A passionate speech by one of your lords rallies the men. They grow restless, waiting for the next fight, plus one opinion. Cool. So we can leave the God Goblin Kingdoms alone and we can attack the different bandits. The Silver Frost Front, the Brixus Killers, the Unlawful Shields, the Pink Wolverines. And the Weevil Southern Rogue Bandits are destroyed, so we don't have to worry about them. And there's an Untead Horde, but we're not going to touch uh, We're not gonna touch that. Well, let's try attacking the Silver Frost Giants just to get a feel for what we're dealing with. We're going to invade them because we want to keep earning land if we can. 641, we're just going to send everything. Because that seems to be working pretty well. Don't fix it if it isn't broken. Alright, so bandit loss is 57. Mine were 6. And we gained a land. And wow, victory. Congratulations, my king. Silver Frost Front has been crushed. A small group of their imprisoned soldiers have returned to you. Plus 1 opinion, plus 15 soldiers. Cool. Crush them pretty quickly. Maybe we'll crush the other ones too. We enlisted 100 peasants. From my 11 lands. Lots of gold. And I received... Gold from the Goblin Slavers. In, tri in tributes, 1345 gold. I received a lot of gold. My bandage, pill pillaging gold from the Goblins. Outlaws enlisting, knights training peasants. Who the minor bandit groups pillage 76 gold from you this season. Yeah, not for long. Not when I'm done with them. I'm going to destroy these guys. Okay. Let's go ahead and do some more exploring. Let's go to the eastern. I feel like there should be more to the eastern uh, area here. The scorpion fighting pit. You pass by a small walled pit surrounded by drunk, loud, and angry easterners. As you near it, you discovered it is a scorpion fighting pit, and the men are betting on the outcomes of the fights. The pit has 956 gold to be won. We can watch a scorpion fight. We can bet on it. Let's go bet on one. We pay the entry fee of the 25 gold coins and stand to watch the fight. The gates slide open, and two scorpions emerge. Pins are snapping and stabbing. You watch as the small eastern scorpion and pygmy southern scorpion charge in and prepare to fight. We're going to bet on the pygmy southern, southern scorpion. How much? I ah, will throw 200 down. All right, the scorpion fight for a while, but ultimately Pygmy sub, uh, Southern Scorpion is the victor. Your chosen scorpion has emerged victorious, and you have earned 400 gold. Nice. So just earning gold for uh, the fun of it. We'll go to the Slaver's Fort. We can buy some more slave soldiers. Or we can buy slaves, but I don't... I'll just keep buying slave soldiers. And the loan, that's right, we want to pay some of the loan off. 402, let's just pay the rest of it off and be done with it. So if we click on loan now, we can loan, wow, a max of 11,000, interesting. So if we wanted to like purchase something for our fort, we could. Okay, that's pretty useful. If we deposit gold, I think that prevents us from losing it if we were to be attacked. But I'm not too worried about that right now. We're not gonna we're not gonna hire any soldiers. Hire knights. We could hire some knights. Could hire a knight. We could hire peasants. They they do turn pretty quickly into soldiers. Can't get a hundred of them though. But I could get thirty. I could get more than that if I wanted to, but we'll go with 30. We got 11 land, though. Hmm. Head diplomat is not skilled enough to speak to the minor bandits. I feel like hire, uh, firing my diplomat now and getting a new one that's a little bit better. Because his skills suck. I could train him for 75 gold. How much skill does that give him? I don't know. Let's find out and see. We don't know unless we try. Let's go ahead and we, we do want to still attack the minor bandits though. We destroyed the silver frost front. 
Let's go for the... Wow, a couple of them are destroyed. We're gonna go for the Brixus Killers. Number six here. Invade them for their lands. Send all of my peasants. 667 soldiers. 990... Or no, 995 soldiers. 25. 102. 53. All right, your loss is two. You have gained some land. Wow, really, I'm being attacked, huh? Trade caravan, let's see. Trade caravan's coming back. We got 12 lands, 110 peasants. It's training peasants, diplomat. Training has increased old cruel skill by two. That doesn't seem like it's really worth it. Amid rumors of a terrifying monster stuck in the lands, a great deal more men joined the local militia forces. Seems like a seems like a good thing. Let's do some exploring. Let's go to the let's go to the north. Nothing. Let's hire some more peasants. Forty of them to be exact. I think I might save up for something for my fortress. What do I want to save up for? The armory would be a good one. Oh, there's a barren land available. I could claim it for 10,000 gold. That's kind of cool. Convert knights to recruiters. What's that do? How many knights would you like to convert? Um... I guess zero right now because I don't know what it does. I think, imagine they go around recruiting for my... Th uh, Recruiting for my fort, but oh, the nobility quarters. We're gonna go for that because the chance of recruiting one to five knights, uh, new knights per turn, the chance of recruiting one to five. So I'm I'm guaranteed to get one knight every turn. For 10k gold, I mean 10k is a lot, but if I get five knights every couple of times, that pays for itself in what four turns. So because it's 500 gold for a knight, and knights are pretty powerful. I like the training grounds though too. Trains one to 50 men per turn but we'll go for the knights I think because the knights train peasants and that's pretty important I've got a lot of gold so we're going to save up for the nobility quarter I think so we don't want to spend gold unless we need to or have to I already paid my loan off we could keep training our diplomat that's something that we could keep doing just for the sake of trying to get him a little bit better his wages will probably remain cheaper uh, cheap even if we keep training him I could just fire him and view somebody else but or hire somebody else but we'll we'll see okay well however we are at the end of this episode so that is where we stand we've crushed a ton of the minor factions the bandit lord has been crushed and uh, I mean we're, we're pushing forward so I think what we'll do is we're gonna keep expanding crush the rest of the minor bandit factions and then we might start waging war on the goblins as well as the independent factions which will have to come later down the road so i want to thank you guys for joining me i do hope that you enjoyed this episode and i look forward to seeing you next time